The placement of electrodes and leads is extremely important when monitoring a patient's EKG. If placed incorrectly, they can distort the picture of what is going on in the heart, or fail to reveal life-threatening issues. Often in an emergency, leads are placed quickly to get an EKG done as soon as possible, but it is important to ensure proper lead placement for all EKGs. It won't matter how fast an EKG can be finished if it isn't showing accurate information. This video will describe the proper placement of leads for a 12-lead EKG. The first thing you'll need to do is locate the intercostal spaces. Count down to find intercostals 4 and 5. These will be the ones needed for lead placement. Limb leads can be placed on the appropriate limbs. Lead V1 is in the fourth intercostal space, right sternal border. Lead V2 is in the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. Next, we'll place lead V4. We'll come back to V3 shortly. Find the midclavicular line. The clavicle reaches from the sternum to the shoulder. Midway through that is the midclavicular line. In the fifth intercostal space, on this line, place V4. Lead V3 sits between V2 and V4. V5 is on the anterior axillary line of the same horizontal plane as lead V4. Lead V6 is on the middle axillary line on the same horizontal plane as leads V4 and V5. When placing leads on your patient, you can first place the limb leads on the appropriate limbs. For 12 lead placement, you can put them on the upper arms for the arm leads and on the upper thigh for the leg leads. Alternatively, you could place them on the wrists for the arm leads and above the ankles for the leg leads. Next, palpate the sternum and the clavicles. From there, you can feel down the chest to locate the ribs in intercostal spaces. The gap between the clavicle and the first rib is not an intercostal space. The gap between the first and second rib is the first intercostal space, and then the spaces between adjacent ribs are numbered sequentially moving down, two, three, four, five, etc. In the fourth intercostal space, on the right sternal border, place an electrode for lead V1. On the left sternal border, still in the fourth intercostal space, place the electrode for V2. Now we're going to skip to the V4 electrode. Palpate to find the fifth intercostal space, and you'll need to locate the midclavicular line. So find the left clavicle again. It goes from the sternum to the left shoulder. Locate the middle point of this bone, and imagine a vertical plane down the patient's chest. When you locate the fifth intercostal space on this midclavicular line, place the V4 electrode. Now return to the V3 electrode. It will sit directly between leads V2 and V4. Place that electrode next. Now you'll need to locate the left anterior axillary line. This begins at the front of the armpit. This aligns closely with where the rib cage begins to curve around to the patient's flank. On this line, on the same horizontal plane as lead V4, place the V5 electrode. This will not necessarily fall perfectly into an intercostal space. It is important to keep it on the same horizontal plane, not the same intercostal space, as lead V4. Next, locate the mid-axillary line. This is down the middle of the armpit. It is solidly located on the patient's side, not on the front of their chest. This is the lead that most often gets misplaced. You may have to move the patient's arm out of the way to place this lead correctly. On the mid-axillary line, and still on that same horizontal plane as leads V4 and V5, place the lead V6. The lead wires for the VU360 are labeled according to what electrode they attach. Attach them to the corresponding locations and complete the 12 lead EKG as described in the video Mac VU360 EKG Machine. That is included in the playlist linked at the end of this video. Proper placement of lead wires and electrodes is essential to completing an accurate and useful EKG. Always take the time to correctly place electrodes on a patient. It could save a life.